Hey, I'm Amy from Creative Kin, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a bandana for your dog. Here's what you need. Two complementary pieces of fabric, a rotary mat, a rotary cutter, a ruler, pins, a triangle pattern from our site, this is for a large dog, an ironing board and an iron, and a sewing machine. Let's get started. The first step is to cut out our fabric pieces. I'm going to start with the triangle. So make sure your fabric is folded in half and grab your pattern. So I just traced my pattern onto an old cereal box to have something stiffer to work with. Go ahead and trace around your pattern. Okay, now that we've traced that, let's cut our pieces out. I'm going to use one or two pins to secure the two pieces of fabric together. Alright, now that we have our pieces cut out, I'm going to repin them together with the right sides facing in. Be sure to line up your edges. Now that our triangle is pinned, let's set it aside and cut out a rectangle. Be sure to fold this fabric in half as well. So for the rectangle, it's easiest if you measure your dog's collar. For this type of collar, measure to the hole that you use to buckle in. So take that measurement and add about five inches so you have plenty of fabric to tie it on. Measure out your length and then we're gonna cut a strip about two inches thick. Now that we have that cut, we're gonna press this piece of fabric so it lays flat. Great, now that this is pressed, let's go back to our triangle and sew our two edges together. Now we're going to sew our two pieces together using a half inch seam allowance. If you don't know where the half inch mark is on your sewing machine, you can grab your ruler and measure out from the needle. Once you find the right notch, go ahead and put a piece of tape by it and it'll help you when you're sewing. Once you know where your seam allowance is, we're going to sew the edges together, leaving the top open. This tape is super helpful, I just make sure the edge of my fabric meets the edge of the tape. Once you get to the corner, you're going to leave the needle down but pull the presser foot up, flip your fabric around, put the presser foot back down, and keep sewing. So before I flip this right side out, I'm gonna cut off the extra fabric right here at a point. Now grab your two open edges and flip. And now we have our triangle piece to press. Now that this piece is ironed, we're going to pin it inside our rectangle piece. So this triangle has these little edges. I'm going to trim them off before I put them in the rectangle. So take your rectangle piece and open it up. Put your triangle piece inside. Make sure your triangle is centered. Fold it back down and we're going to pin it in place. All right, now that we've pinned everything into place, we're gonna sew it. Now I'm gonna sew the open edge of our rectangle piece. Again, once you get to that corner, leave your needle down, lift your presser foot, flip your fabric, put your presser foot back down, and keep sewing. Instead of a seam allowance, I'm just making sure the edge of my fabric lines up with the edge of my presser foot.
Great, now that it's done, be sure to cut off all your extra threads. And there you have it, a bandana for your dog. We want to see how adorable your dogs look in their bandanas, so Instagram a photo and hashtag creativekin. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next week. Now go get cracked.